and I think that really set the tone. We were able to find a way to maybe get them under control a little bit. Um, they were scoring so much on us, and uh, the ball started moving. Guys started making some shots, making some plays, and you know, once you you kind of cut a big lead and it gets within distance, you know, sometimes those are those are hard games when you're on that other side. Uh, we've been on that side, and um, you know, we just feel fortunate tonight. But very, very proud of the way the guys fought and competed, um, particularly in that fourth quarter. Just put this in perspective, though, coming back from 26 points, what it means. And this could be one of the biggest wins in a long time. Here. Yeah, no, I mean, you know, it's it's uh, just considering the circumstances, and um, I didn't know, you know, what the number was, but to be 26 down and to, you know, just show the resiliency of the group, you know, hopefully the fiber, the core of a uh, of the program, and you know, I think. Give them a lot of credit for how they played the first three quarters. They were unbelievable. And, um, you know, so for our group to just kind of keep grinding, keep one to, to compete and um, never giving up, um, you know, hopefully we can build off this. This is an important time of year. Um, we want to be getting better going into the playoffs. And, you know, tonight I think in a lot of ways, obviously, we did that. What was it? Because uh, you did all that with Dwight Dennis on, on the bench, one of the other guys. Yeah, you know, a lot of it's just gut feel. Um, you know, I think, you know, they kind of got their normal sub at the end of the third quarter. They both played quite a bit in the third quarter. And, um, you know, we, we didn't finish the third quarter great either. Um, but then we were able to, to kind of get a roll going there in that the start of the fourth. And, um, again, that group was playing well. Um, you know, Malcolm had played great um, in Cleveland a couple nights ago. Just wanted to keep him, you know, in the game, keep him involved, and so you know, threw him out there, you know, to give uh, Jose a break, and we just went with that group. They were they were playing well. Coach, did you say anything to the team going into the fourth quarter, or are they just kind of doing this time of urgency? Um, I think you know we just talked about let, let's get better, let's let's use this, let's let's compete. Um, and I don't think you ever want to go, you know, this time of year and, and have a you know a loss where where you're not competitive. So. You know, it wasn't anything big to start the fourth quarter, but you know, I think that group just knew, um, you know, make a few plays, and if you go on a quick early six-eight run, I'm mean, a six or eight zero run, ten zero run, then it's you know it's down under fifteen, it's a fourteen twelve game, and you know that's when things can get tight. Coach, you got a lot out of Michael Scala tonight. Um, there have been periods we hadn't gotten in certain games, but just talk about his performance today. Yeah, I mean, you know, the, the probably the biggest shot of the game was the corner three, you know, on the kick out from Tim Hardaway. Great drive by Timmy, finds him in the corner. Um, and, you know, I think Muskie's been playing well, uh, you know, Friday in, uh, in Cleveland and the games leading up to that. So, you know, he, he obviously started the season well and, you know, hopefully he's back in a good place and, you know, he can do a lot of things for us on both ends, uh, you know, when he's playing well. Well, they're you know they've been the best teams in the East. You know they test you in a lot of different ways. They they make it difficult for you. So, you know you feel like you're kind of getting ready for the playoffs and you know the better teams and the way they can uh, they can challenge you. So, um, you know it's it's good for us to obviously win and to play the way we are. Coach, how big was the fans out there tonight? Cheering you guys on, made they come back. How did it make you feel as a coach and your team? See those fans sticking around with you. Damn, I'm 25, still here with you. Yeah, the fans were great. I mean, once once the momentum changed and we started making the run, I think they really fueled the players. The players and the fans were having a great time, and, and that's what it's about. You know, competing and enjoying it, and um, you know the fans giving you that that extra edge, and they were great tonight. You mentioned Hardaway Jr. Um, he had some terrible shots. How was how was he crucial to that? Um, yeah, no, I mean, he's just another guy that, you know, can, can obviously make shots, but he can also, you know, get to the paint, get to the basket, get to the free throw line. The big assist to Muscala, um, you know, he attracts attention, creates opportunities for other guys, for Paul, Muskie. So, you know, Timmy's just, Timmy's been playing well for, you know, quite a while now. Did you change the three-point defense a little bit? He's tried everything. <laughs> <laughs> it's ridiculous. So, you know, again, that's... Uh, you know, for for three quarters, uh, you know, Cleveland was, you know, very very good, and we have a ton of respect for them, and um, you know, but you know, we just wanted to keep playing, and um, but yeah, the guarding the three point line with them is 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 a is a huge huge challenge. Going into overtime, was there any thought of going back to you know, shooter or other way? No, not really. Um, you know, that group had played so well, and Dennis and Dwight had been sitting so long, and you know, we've we've kind of stuck with groups, um, you know, when they're playing well. Um, so it just felt like the right thing to do. All right, thanks.